guys welcome back to my channel i am miss lonely 11 and today i'm going to be showing you three old school products i'm going to be using that is making my hair feel brand new as you can see my hair is still blown out from the last video and uh, my hair is not dead my eyebrows are not done but guys i look good oh, don't worry about me okay so guys, as I said, my hair's blown up from my last video. I haven't actually put any hair products in it other than the pink lotion. So today guys, I'm gonna be showing you a quick hairstyle I used to do back in the day. This is a hairstyle I used to wear at primary school. It is something that grew my hair and I think it grew my hair because it was low manipulation. My hair was moisturized, my hair was detangled, my hair was healthy, my hair was juicy, yeah. Okay, some tools you'll be needing are some hair bands or hair ties, wide tooth curl, and one of these fine brushes. This is what we used to have in my household back in the day. And then of course, your, your wave brush, as it were. So those are the tools and for the products, the pink lotion, yes. And then a blast from the past. Jam, yes, let's jam. My sister first introduced me to jam. She's older than me, so she was doing her little hairstyles and I was like, oh, what's that? If anybody remembers, before you actually dig your finger into the top of it, which I love to do, if you bang the bottom of it, it feels really springy. So as a child, this is what attracted me to the gel. It smells sweet. If you remember what jam smells like, it, smells, it has that such a childhood smell. This is one thing I'm happy they didn't, well, I don't think they've changed the smell of this, but then again, I didn't even realize they changed the smell of pink because it smells the same to me. Did they? Who knows? But anyway, this smells original and it looks like this. As you can see, I've dug my fingers all in there. And the reason why I've been using this so much is because my daughter's 4B hair loves it. It soaks it up, it lays her hair down and gets the curls popping. And I didn't even know she had like little waves, but when I put this in her hair, she got cute little waves. I really am gonna have to do a video with my daughter because all these products, the way they're working in her hair and you guys have been asking, sometimes she likes being on camera, sometimes she finds it boring, okay? So we just have to go with what the princess wants to do. Okay, and last but not least, you know how I feel about my Dax. 100% pure lanolin. Guys, just to clear it up, okay? Now I have a lot of people saying to me, why do I keep calling it hair grease? This to me is hair grease. I've grown up calling it grease because that's what it was called. I know I'm not the only one that calls it hair grease because if you type on YouTube hair grease, you get a lot of hair grease videos, okay? Clearly it's not universally known as hair grease, but I'm sure a majority of people do call it hair grease. Right, I've cleared that up. As I said to you before, guys, I don't like to drag a comb through my hair whilst my hair is actually uh, dry. So I'm going to add some more pink lotion. This is a daily moisturizer. So this will be the second time I'm adding pink lotion since blow drying my hair. The first time is obviously when I blow dry my hair. I'm just gonna apply it all over, especially the ends. Right, so then now I'm going to pop my hair into a stub. So, yeah, I think I like that. So I'm just gonna quickly detangle. Now I can feel my hair is slightly damp, not even damp, just a little saturated from the pink and you can see it as well where it's starting to curl. So I'm more confident that combing my hair will not snag. Which I don't know if I like this part, I think I might do it like that. Mm, that's kind of boring actually, yeah? Let's go back to the angles, shall we? Right, okay. I think that's the best I'm gonna get. If you guys did wanna see my hair from the back, let me just quickly show you now. Right, so what we're gonna do first, make sure that our roots are nice and smooth. This is going to annoy me, this part right here. There you go. Okay, yeah. And you wanna make sure your hair's smooth past where you're gonna put the hairband. Just because if you brush it then and all this bit is like lumped up around the hairband, well, that's personal preference, for me, but for me, it's annoying. So I need to brush it past that point. So now what we're gonna do, we'll take our jam and we're gonna spread it on. 
just as though oh here was a piece of bread right i will say this guys jam for me is not a good edge control this is the extra hold one this is the strongest hold i believe but for me once it goes on my edges it kind of puffs up but this is the thing back in the day i never really used the edge control i just worked with what i had so there were no layings on the baby edges and again you guys you can apply this how you want you can put it in your hands and rub it together but i feel i prefer to do it in lumps because i feel my hair gets saturated more that way rather than me just rubbing it all around my hand okay so this is what i've got so far i'm going to brush it down again Okay, so as it's got a jam jar in it, I'm getting a bit of resistance with this brush. So once I've brushed it around, I'm going to go in with the skinny brush. Okay. Right, I think I've brushed as much as possible. And now I've brushed down to where my hand was, where the hair tie will be. I will just brush these parts down. That's where the hair bunched up. Now you're gonna wanna take your hair band. So you can imagine guys, I was looking pretty fly in primary school. And yes, I did my own hair. As I said, I started when I was nine, doing my own hair. Now my hair is pretty loose. And what, this is what I don't like guys, and it's not only the feeling, but it's the, the way it looks. I don't like when I see hair that is just brushed like this. So it's in the hairband already, it's brushed like this, and then you get this lump. And I know it might not bother a lot of people, it bothers me because I think I'm a bit of a control freak. And when I see that, it annoys me, so I have to take out the hairband. <laughs> Back to the hairband. I think we've got it all there you go, we've got a nice hold right there. So now, as I said, my edges weren't really a priority back in the day. I'm going to just concentrate on these parts, just to neaten them up. There was no, as I said, I didn't really lay my edges back in the day. Like, Actually, I tell a lie, I'd done it once when I was at primary school, and then a little girl said to me, have I got a stitch on my head? It was one of these ones, guys. Let me, let me just quickly show you. It was one of these ones. And then it was like, actually no, it looked cute. I don't know what she was talking about. <laughs> but when I went to secondary school, oh yes, it was back. The baby hairs came back. Right, so now you've got your ponytail. I just wanna make sure your strands are laying smooth. Growing up, my thing was keeping my hair looking neat and tidy and laid. So for years, this was my hairstyle. So then I'd either have it in a plait and have the plait out but what I usually went for was the bun, so I'd twist it, secure it with a hairband. And I'm gonna apply some grease to the ends just to seal it. Remember, I've already got the pink on the ends, so I'm just gonna seal in that extra bit of moisture. There you go. Then what I would do, twist my hair up. Have my little bun. Right, so we haven't finished with the hair grease yet. Right, so we've got the hair grease now. We just got the hair grease. We just grease the scalp so you know everything's shiny in this section. Just so there was no flaking off the scalp, you know, just moisturize that scalp, okay? I mean, I wore this star as a child because it was cute, and now it's just, you know, put some little hoop earrings in, or little studs, and you've got a little bit of sophistication going on here. Right, so there you go guys. Those are my three products I use to maintain my hair and grow long, thick, healthy hair. My hair was always blown out and it was never curly. I didn't know what my curls looked like, as I said, for a long time, <laughs> maybe into early adulthood. But this is what grew my hair. It was obviously the style, the products, the maintenance. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.